Hi guys, welcome back to Flackbox channel. I'm Shaina and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco CCNA. If you're new to our channel or if you just found this video somewhere, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we posted a new video here. And right now guys, I'm very excited to let you know that I am on 80% progress on my review. Yes guys, it's 80% progress and we are almost nearer to the finish line. Right now, I'm in the middle of section 32 which is all about the security threat landscape. I learned a lot of things and the reality behind the network configuration. For every instances, there are really opposing forces and there are people who are attacking our network even though guys we are almost near to the finish line i will still need to go back to the topic i need to go back to the topic guys so i can review and master the cisco lab exercises the commands needs to sink in to my brain so i need to go back to those topics and i'm done reviewing the one lan and the topologies vpn mpls and like what i said i'm in the middle of section 32 security threat landscape i learned a lot of things from here guys security threat landscape the threat vulnerability exploit risk mitigation and the different kinds of malwares and the different hacking tools that hackers used and you know what guys after i reviewed that topic i just realized something guys i just realized guys that there are so many kind of security threats on our network and cyber criminals behind that will not stop to do their tactics just to break the security on our system and that is the battle that our network engineers are facing every day of their lives when you are on that position guys you have no choice but to win the battle it's like guys if these hackers are smart network engineers should be smarter and if they are wise they should be wiser after we pass the ccna exam we are all aiming guys to be on that position right to be a network engineer and can we say that are we that confident to fight that battle are we ready to face that battle do we have that confidence that we can fix or prevent those security threats on our network i know guys i know that that is our dream job and dream position we can make a good living if we will become a season a passer or if we will become a network engineer we are all aiming for that that's why we are reviewing for the season 8 exam and we are aiming to pass it but you know as i go along with the review and after i'm done reviewing this topic i just realized that the job is not that easy as one two three you know i feel the pressure that they are carrying every day i feel the burden i feel the burden that they are carrying the responsibility that they have inside the company well like what spider-man says with a great power comes with a great responsibility if you have a great capability if you have a great power inside the company you're a network engineer you have the control on your network you know how it works you know how the things are communicating with each other but you also have the great responsibility to keep the system safe and secured you see guys you don't have any choice but you you need to face the different malwares and different kind of attacks of the enemies it's very random and surprising guys you will never know what kind of attack will surprise you but they don't have any choice they need to keep our network safe and secured and they need to achieve it guys every day 100% safety ness and 100% assurance that the network is safe and secured and network engineers 
should not fail with their responsibility because if they will fail once it can lead to a loss of a huge amount of money so there are different kind of attacks that our enemies can do that i've learned so far on the lecture we have reconnaissance which obtains information about the intended victim and the very famous phishing which is a kind of social engineering attack where the attacker pretends to be from a reputable company when he was not to get individuals to reveal personal information such as password and credit card numbers and you also have the social engineering which is the use of deception to manipulate individuals into divulging confidential or personal information and also data exfiltration where data leaves an organization without authorization and the denial of service which attack prevents legitimate users from accessing an IT source and there are some guys uh, like spoofing and man in the middle attacks botnets they are evolving guys different hacks are evolving and network engineers should be ready with that different situations not only that network engineers are responsible to which is the basic guys they are responsible to keep the connectivity of their network take note safe and secured network connectivity so are we changing our mind now are we changing our mind if we will become a successful network engineer someday after we pass the CCNA exam are we ready to face those battles do we have that willingness guys do we have the willingness to take the responsibility no wonder why there are a lot of IT instructor or CCNA instructor who wanted to eliminate the bogus or cheating tactics on CCNA exam because if we will cheat or if we will become dishonest we will pretend that we know the technical things behind the uh, CCNA but the uh, the reality is we are not if we will fake everything we don't deserve to be on that position of being a network engineer because that position handles a great responsibility i mentioned on my previous video guys that i am currently working as a help desk on a company and you know being a level one support there are no big pressure on our side on my side i don't feel any big pressure whenever i can't configure something whenever i can't fix some issue all i need to do is just to escalate it <laughs> and the pressure are being put on the level two or level three support but i see guys i see and i feel the pressure of our engineers whenever there is a threat on our network or whenever there is an attempt to hack the system i can see the pressure and right now i was thinking if i will be on their position soon can i handle the pressure can i handle the responsibility and they also ask the same question to yourself guys let me know guys on the comment section what you think about this video and that's all what i can share for now in this video if this video somehow helps you and makes you realize something guys maybe you can give it a thumbs up and again don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel by the way guys feel free to follow me or connect with me on my linkedin account here's my linkedin account connect with me and i will also connect with you and don't forget to follow flagbacks on our social media platforms all the links to our social media platforms are on the description below let's stay connected guys on the social media so you'll be updated on our giveaways and guys please keep on supporting me on this channel and feel free to download the lab exercises guide for free the link to that is also on the description below this is a free lab exercises guide 
on a packet tracer and a lot of students are taking advantage of it and what else that i wanna say is see you on my next video